Hello guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to teach you one of the coolest ways to create wave effects without really having to worry about if it is going to adjust to mobile or not. Because a lot of the things and a lot of designers that I see out there, they do these effects that are sick, but they use it as a, a background image and they go full width and full height. And then when you just try to adjust it, what happens, you know what happens. It just stretched all over the place and it's not the design you design, right? So follow this as a tutorial, follow step by step so you can generate something very similar with this. And the coolest part is that you may use this as waves or as any other effect. It can be spikes, it can be chains, it can be whatever you want because the one thing that you are going to generate with this, it's solely with your creativity. You are going to create one image and then with just a few CSS tricks, you are going to have an effect just like this. So let's get to it. Now, the very first thing we want to understand is the structure that we use here, right? So we are going to use a header with one section. This is where we are going to place information, okay? And then we are going to create another section right here where we are going to just add the effect. And notice that here I don't have any image whatsoever, right? What I do have and you want to follow is top 100 pixels and bottom zero pixels. But we are going to get there in just a second. Now, this is the first thing, create two sections. Now, the second thing is we want to add a gradient behind it, okay? So you can use this in various ways. You can create a gradient in various ways. In this case, what I did was I used this code, very simple, and I used something that you need to follow. I want to create two left. So I want to go from this color to that color, but on an horizontal pace. Don't do this ver vertical, uh, don't do this diagonal. Do this on the horizontal kind of axis, right? Because it goes from this color to that color in both sections. Or you can use just a plain color that works uh, as well. Now, the third thing we want to do, right? We place it that in those two sections. The third thing we want to do is this section here, you get the CSS ID for 5999, okay? And then you paste it here, but you give it a space and add container inner. Without this, this trick is not going to work. So add this, uh, make sure you add this. The second thing is we are going to add it as a width 100%, a height 143 pixels. Now, one thing to have in mind is that this may be adjusted. So if you have a different image created, make sure that your height is going to be the same as the height that you created in your image. So if it has 200 pixels, add 200 pixels instead. Okay, following? Awesome. Now, the very next thing is we are going to add a background image URL. So for this, you want to create an image, .png for example, or SVG, and you want to upload it somewhere. In this case, I have uploaded in my own ClickFunnels account in the digital assets. You can do that trick as well. And then just grab the link and paste it as the background image URL. Right after, let's add the positive relative, relative and then bottom zero and left zero. This here is going to, these three things is going to make the trick to actually make this adjustable and mobile optimized. Now, with all this in place, what you do have, and by the way, don't forget to have zero in the bottom and 100 at the top, right? With all this, you are going to have an effect just like this one. And when you try to adjust it, it is going to adjust to all kinds of screen sizes, 15 inches, 16 inches, 17 inches, whatever, okay? Now, one cool thing that you can do with this and pay close attention here. One thing that you can do with this is with just a few changes, you can recreate something as cool as this with just a few changes. Now this, I do have the entire tutorial in my CSS master bundle. So if you are curious on how to do this and other effects, I have 20 plus codes there, right? If you are interested to know there, just make sure that you check the link below. It's CSS Master Bundle, get it. Um, it's very low ticket. And then you are going to have this tutorial right there. Okay, and again, this is 100% mobile optimized as you can see.
okay? So there you go. Let me know if this worked for you. If it didn't, um, just comment in the comment section below and I'm going to be addressing that and to help you. And share with me the sick designs that you just created with this simple trick. Have a wonderful day.